Hey everybody and welcome back for another video. In today's video uh, we're going to share uh, our Black Friday video game haul. Uh, we bought probably a good, uh, I'd say around 10 games for Black Friday this year. We got some sweet deals so we want to go ahead and share with you uh, the ones we found and what good deals you could pick up this week. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I want to start with the Xbox games. So I play most of my games on the PlayStation, uh, then I play a lot of the Nintendo exclusives on Nintendo, and then Xbox exclusives on the Xbox. And then all the like cross-platform ones I basically play on the PlayStation. So I'm going to start with the Xbox games that I got. Um, one of them is on two different platforms, but at the time I actually played this game for the Xbox. so. I picked up the Xbox One, not knowing that it was on the other consoles. Uh, we'll start off with the one that I didn't know, and that is Hellblade. Uh, Senua's Sacrifice, I want to say is the how you pronounce that. Uh, it's one of the first rated M, rated M games that we've talked about on this channel. Uh, it is for blood and gore, intense violence, and strong language. Uh, it's a crazy game. Uh, what I have to say about it is... Uh, you play as this woman, you got like these couple of spirits talking in your head back and forth and she's just trying to like wrap her mind around her own psyche. Um, so it's a pretty crazy game. Uh, Ten bucks, not bad to check it out. Oh wait, uh, this next game that we got is one of my favorite racing titles actually. Uh, I did not get the brand brand new one, but I did get one, uh, you know, that came out fairly recently, and that is Forza Horizon 4. We picked that guy up for 20 bucks, I believe. Um, so yeah, check out Forza. It's a great racing franchise. The new one has amazing reviews. Um, so hopefully at some point when we get the new Xbox, we'll check out that one at some point too. The last two games that we got for the Xbox are both from the same franchise. Uh, we got Gears of War 5 and Gears Tactics. So between these two, uh, also rated M, so uh, first time on the channel, rated M games. Uh, this, I believe, completes our set of Gears of War games. So we have the whole set. I started playing the first one uh, not too long ago. So yeah, we get to enjoy the Gears series. And a quick uh, pricing update. I don't think I set it for Forza. Forza was 20 bucks. And then each of these was $10 a piece. So very, very reasonable. Moving on to PlayStation 4 games. Uh, I got three of these. Now the first two are Nickelodeon based. Uh, we have SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Remake. This is from uh, back when I was a kid. And uh, it's a, a third person a platformer SpongeBob game. Very fun, very well done. I played it on the Switch. Um, but decided to check it out for the PlayStation 4 as well. So, uh, $20 for this guy. And then the other Nickelodeon is Nickelodeon Kart Racers 2 for the PlayStation 4. Uh, that one I got for $15. Uh, so not a bad deal there either. Uh, the last one I got for PlayStation 4, uh, my wife and I have been watching these movies uh, recently, my wife hasn't seen them all, so that's why we're going through all of them. But the last PS4 game I picked up was Fast and Furious Crossroads. Now, I know what you're going to be thinking. The reviews aren't very good, but you know what? I don't mind. Uh, it's a casual game to play, especially watching the movies right now, so it'll be a lot of fun to check this out. Uh, I think Fast and Furious was $17. Okay, so we are heading towards the PlayStation 5. These are the last handful of games that I picked up. I actually didn't pick up any Switch games this year on Black Friday. Didn't even think of that until now. Uh, we're going to go through which ones I got. There are some other rated M games, so those are premiering here in this video as well. And we're going to lead up to the final game being the one that I was looking forward to the most for Black Friday. And I was so happy we got to pick it up. So the first one that we got is Chivalry 2. Uh, this one, if you don't know, is a uh, online game where you have medieval wars. And uh, when it first came out, I didn't really want to take a chance on it for the price. But for 20 bucks, you can't beat that for a 
uh, next gen game. So I decided to check out Chivalry 2. Uh, I hope it works out well. I've seen one of my buddies plays it, so uh, maybe we can hook up and play that as well. The next game that we got actually came out a while ago, but for PlayStation 5 it just came out. Uh, once again, just like some of these other games where I wasn't too sure, but you know, 20 bucks isn't that bad to try it. Jumanji the video game. Uh, looking forward to playing that just to see what it's all about. Um, I've played the board game. That's an interesting one. Uh, so hopefully the video game uh, can be pretty cool too. Uh, this next game I believe was the most expensive one that I got. Um, simply because I got the one that had all the bells and whistles as far as the version. And that would be Godfall Ascension Edition. So, uh, this is one of the titles, I believe, that came out as a launch title for the PS5. Um, but this edition comes with the game, access to the first expansion pack, um, and bonus gold digital goods. So there's a handful of things. Uh, just the DLC is pretty much worth the upgraded price. So I felt, you know, why not just get it? Uh, so I look forward to checking out Godfall 2 on the PS5. Uh, Godfall was $40. This next game, uh, I was surprised to see how good of reviews it got. So uh, I felt like, you know, sounds like a really cool game. I should probably pick that one up. Uh, that would be Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl for the PS5. I've um, got this one for 20 bucks as well. Black Friday is a great time to get cheap games to try out. Um, especially since this just came out like a month ago or something like that. So, looking very forward to this. This is like Nickelodeon's version of Smash Bros. from Nintendo Switch. Um, there's also one coming out from WB that was just announced not too long ago that's going to have a bunch of really cool characters. So, this style of game is uh, you know, starting to come into the mix of different franchises. So, I'm excited to check out Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. Our final game from our haul is, like I said, the game I was looking forward to the most, and I was like fingers crossed hoping this was going to be on uh, Black Friday for sales, and thankfully it was. And that game is Guardians of the Galaxy. I was really hoping for it. We did not pick this one up day one just because I wanted to gamble that it was going to be on sale for Black Friday. i um, very thrilled we got this. This guy was $30. Uh... Depending where you go, uh, you can get it uh, for a couple different prices. But uh, also the Steelbook Edition I've seen is on, on sale in a couple different places. Um, but I just felt like this edition was uh, good for us. Uh, I look forward to playing this. I'm sure my wife is going to watch because she loves Guardians of the Galaxy as well. Um, it is made by Square Enix. And I know they've kind of had that hiccup with the Avengers. But uh, this game has amazing reviews, says it's great, so I look forward to it, and I cannot wait to pop this in the PlayStation. Like I said, 30 bucks. All right, everybody, that about wraps it up for us today. Again, we looked at the video game haul that my wife and I picked up this holiday season. Uh, I believe all, most, if not all, of these prices should still be available um, check around Target, Best Buy, Amazon, you know, you name it. Uh, Walmart, that's another one that had the good prices. So check all those out. Some of them have better prices than others on some of these games, but I'd say the grand majority of them are the same. But do your homework, that way you pay the lowest price. If you haven't already, please turn on notifications. Uh, also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, drop us a like if you like this video, and drop us a comment letting us know what games you found this holiday season and which ones you are most excited for. And then as always, everybody, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.